Do you like the finale of Death Note? Death Note is often praised for its complex web of mental battles between Light and L, although the anime adaptation does not get enough credit for its cinematic direction. The direction of Death Note is impeccable, especially compared to its contemporaries. The writing of the final arc doesn't maintain the highest of qualities when compared to the rest of the show, but the outstanding direction remains all the way up to the final episode. I wouldn't call Death Note a subtle show, it does have a lot of subtle, symbolic framing. We're going to analyze the final episode so that next time you watch the show you can get a little more out of it. The first detail I wanted to cover is one that you might have already seen if you're a fan of my shorts. Stay tuned though as there's more to find in the finale other than what I've already discussed. Often, Light is trained with a crane that resembles a noose and he's about to be executed. The first thing you might think is that I might be reading too much into this, but this is the only background item given constant prominence. Another important note is that these cranes are entirely absent from the manga. This means that the animators had to have intentionally placed these hooks in each frame they're in. They often also hang above Light's head and sometimes the centerpiece of a shot with light right under them. In the final full body frame of light, this crane is actually still in the foreground, and this scene is entirely original to the anime, so I don't believe it was done incidentally. The second detail I wanted to cover is the humiliating use of lighting. Light is often used in film and animation symbolically, and is used pretty heavily in the series. If the lighting didn't include you in, then hopefully the constant angelic choir did. Here it's used in a way to almost insult light more than anything else, at least in my interpretation. It's often placed on light in this angelic way, as if the show is trying to say, this is your god, when light is at his lowest and most pathetic, begging for help. Mikami's corpse is also showered in this light, as he is an apostle of this fake god. On light's deathbed, he's also showered in this angelic light. The next thing I want to discuss was Light's escape, which is entirely original to the anime. In the manga, Light is killed by Ryuk in front of everyone and he does not go out gracefully, begging Ryuk to reverse the process knowing full well that his fate is sealed. He goes out kicking and screaming like the child he is. In the anime, we are treated to a new somber song as we get flashbacks of Light's early days. We see that early Light and current Light cross paths and current Light actually looks at old Light passing him. Many fans of the manga have criticized this for letting Light off too easily. I partially agree and disagree. Light did humiliate himself in the final episode, calling for people he knew that couldn't help him. Him asking for Misa and Taka to feel especially brutal, knowing how little he thought of these people. He yells into the void as everyone just looks at him pathetically. Light runs and flees like a coward looking back at his life. The somber music is more for the viewer. Much like Ryuk, we enjoyed watching Light get away with things for entertainment. After 37 episodes, it would be disingenuous to say we didn't have some connection with Light, even if we did or didn't agree with his actions. Ultimately, Light is a manipulator a child and a coward who cricks and screams when he doesn't get his way. I don't think that was admitted from the anime, but as a viewer we got a final chance to look back on the series and the character we enjoyed. The only thing I don't have a solid read for is why we see L. It could be read as L getting the win finally, or it could be read that Light cared for L more than he let on in his final moments. He would often criticize the SPK and Nier for not providing him the entertainment Rel did or the respect that he had for him. The last thing I wanted to note is that it's nice that the absolute final shot is of a crescent moon. As you know from earlier in the series, Light says his name is written with the character for moon in kanji. I didn't really talk much about the plot because I didn't really care for it and it's not as interesting as the execution of Light's execution on full display. And that about wraps it up. And as always, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. I know this is originally a short and I wanted to make sure it didn't get buried in the mountain of shorts I've published as well as expand on it. Thank you all for watching.